one of the most important principles that I'm going to talk about is about teaching multiple languages simultaneously instead of consecutively. So with early language learning, what, what generally happens if the child learns English, let's say, there's a large area of the brain that's active for English. And since about 90% of the brain is developed by age five, after the child learns English, if, if the child learns, let's say, French and Spanish and Chinese and German after age five, then there would be a small area of the brain for each of these other languages. And the, the later uh, you wait before teaching it, then the smaller the area of the brain and the farther away from the area for the first language it is. So typically, uh, in, in native English speaking areas, you would learn English, and then later, you try learning the other languages. And if you wait until middle school or high school, obviously it does not work very well, unless you are really immersed in the language. It's still better than waiting until later, but it doesn't work nearly as well. If you start with a newborn baby from birth and you teach at least two languages, instead of having one area of the brain that's for English, let's say the child learns English and Spanish, there will be one area of the brain that's for English and Spanish. This is considered to be far more efficient for brain development instead of learning English first and then learning Spanish and then learning French or German or, uh, Span or uh, Japanese or some other language later. It's better to learn them simultaneously from birth. Even if you don't know them, please introduce the languages to your baby early on. What I recommend is that you introduce at least four languages to your baby, at least four. Uh, depending on where you live in the world, that will help you figure out which languages. For, for many of the people watching this, it would be English, and then maybe Sp Spanish, French, uh, Mandarin, German, Japanese, depending on, on where you are. Uh, and some other languages based, based on where you are. But think about which languages might be most important for your child in 20 or 30 years. Try to look a long time into the future. If they need to learn those languages, it will be much easier for them if they were introduced early in life, even if you're not spending many hours a day on it, even if you're spending a few hours a week, maybe while they're playing or or you're busy doing uh, some other activity, uh, the baby can be introduced to these languages. And then over a long period of time, while the brains are developing, they can uh, start to learn those languages. And then maybe you'll find a preschool or some after school class later where they can get more of that language. And then maybe at some point, you will have friends who speak that language, for some of you, it will be easy because you already speak other languages. But if you don't, if you don't introduce it early on, it's just going to get harder as the child gets older. So I recommend introducing them simultaneously from birth. Please do not wait on this. Do not wait until your child masters the first language because then most of the brain is developed by that time.